you're talking about you knew what you want, both both of you. What is that one thing that you really, really love about Kai? Kai, Kai? I think he, he's a very focused guy. He knows exactly what he wants. When I say that, like I'm catching across everything when it comes to businesses, relationships, everything. Yeah, he knows exactly what he wants. So he doesn't waste time just, <laughs> you know, playing around and everything. Yeah, wasting time and all that. Yeah. So that's one thing that I really liked about the guy. <laughs> what do you like about him? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm really interested to know this. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, uh, social media. I've always, I've always been a fan yeah. of hers, actually. Oh. For, for quite a while, I mean, ever since she was uh, Miss World. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> no, uh, uh, she has mentioned that you guys really knew what you were doing yeah. or what you guys wanted. Yeah. What is that one thing that you've learned from her since you guys started uh, dating? No, I, I, I think she's, she's very graceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, like for. You know, like, I mean, when she was representing Kenya at Miss World, like, yeah. I think she was top six in the whole world, mm -hmm. but interacting with, uh, with Mary mm -hmm. or Ravinia, like, mm -hmm. she's, she's the most humble woman I've ever come across. Mm -hmm. I mean, for, for the sort of beauty she has. Mm -hmm. Like, we're so easy. We're going to go to Mali, we're going to go to Posh Kando, we're going to go to the Like, it's just easy. Uh -huh. We're just easy. Nobody, you know, nobody is forcing things. We don't live... To a, to a standard, mm -hmm. as we just chill, we're just living li life one day at a time. Mm -hmm. So I'm really impressed by how humble she is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, it's always for amazing. Tuko Kempinski kwa ajili ya shughuli moja. For the grand launch ya by Simu na miongoni mwa watu mbo mifanikiwa kufika. Of course, ni Kalif Kairu pamoja na Wavinya. Tutataka kutupigi nao story kidogo tujui na kufaja. Mambo vipi rubani? Mambo yuko freshi. Freshi? Kabisa. Kwanza karibu, ala kufili hongera. Mtienu wapili naono uliupita. Lazima. Kwa kwanza ilikuwa noma? Na yu mtiani nakuanga noma. You know, um... You given on a bongo one year, kufanya, and you given up to ten attempts. It's a very complex exam. Just so you malize yo now, you can you can go work for the airlines. So it's it's a very serious exam. Yeah. Can you come as ill as a medicine? Akuna si juu b. Apone either you've passed. It's 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 an A or nothing. Yeah. Do you have a chance yako ya pili ambayo you come fail? Eh, but finally ni ni li maliza. So what would have happened unge fail ya pili? No, you una po ango ten times. You actually given ten times to do it. Yeah. So if those ten times lapse. Sasa wanakombea, sasa wewe, you have to go back to school and start, mm -hmm. and you know, just take your time and then come redo all of them. Watu mikuwa kidogo tu, watu mikuwa kizungumza kisema, mbona umekuwa kiendesha ndege na ulifeli, unajua? So, watu wa waelewi, how does it work? Apana, there are actually two licenses. Already I'm a licensed pilot, even before I did the exam, I was already flying. So I have what we call a private license. That allows me to fly, like I can fly Wavinia, I can fly my family. I can fly in any setting, provided I'm not getting paid. So now the commercial removes that restriction and also allows you to fly very big aeroplanes. So you, the, it allows you to fly passengers, paying passengers. Mm -hmm. So ukiwa kama saying kiwa na private, but you still fly even some light jets, but now ina kwa ngane restriction. You like lazima ufanye more studies so that you're able now to fly for bigger airlines and big planes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. We get to hear from Wavinya. <laughs> the first time you're coming to an event with uh, Cairo, yeah? Yeah, yeah, first time. Hello. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous, but uh, fun. It, uh, yeah, hope it's going to be fun, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Who dressed your husband? You? Yeah, I helped him pick the outfit, uh -huh. of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how has it been being uh, with Cairo for the time you've been together? I mean, so far, so good. Uh -huh. We both knew exactly what we wanted when we were getting into this. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so far it's been fun and yeah, all good. Can't yeah. complain. Uh, yeah. Talking about you knew what you want, both, both of you, what is that one thing that you really, really love about Kai? Kai, Kai? I think he, he's a very focused guy. He knows exactly what he wants. When I say that, like, I'm catching across everything when it comes to businesses, relationships, everything, yeah, he knows exactly what he wants. So he doesn't waste time just, <laughs> you know, playing around and everything, yeah, wasting time and all that, yeah. So that's one thing that I really liked about the guy. <laughs> what do you like about him? Nothing. Nothing. You know, I mean, yeah. like, I'm really interested to know this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, uh, social media. I've always, I've always been a fan yeah. of ours, actually. For, for quite a while, I mean, 
Kwa sisi she was uh, misold. Kwa namu na tu. She has mentioned that you guys really knew what you are doing or what you guys wanted. Yeah. What is that one thing that you learned from her since you guys started uh, dating? No, I, I, I think she's she's very graceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean like for you know like I mean when she was representing Kenya at Miss World, like yeah. I think she was top six in the whole world. Mm -hmm. But interacting with uh, with Mary mm -hmm. or Avinia, like mm -hmm. she's she's the most humble woman I've ever come across. Mm -hmm. I mean, for for the sort of beauty she has, mm -hmm. like we're so easy. When danga mali to nakula mtura, to rasmamisha Porsche kando, to rachikuwa chapos mocha. Like it's just easy. Uh -huh. We're just easy. Nobody, you know, nobody is forcing things. We don't live to a to a standard. Mm -hmm. As we're just chill, we're just living li life one day at a time. Mm -hmm. So I'm really impressed by how humble she is. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Every time uh, pengine mtu ambaye anakuwa close na Cairo, that is friends, you know, ex wake, always watu wanaingiaga pale kuanza kumchimba, kumtafuta, kum, you know, kum, 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 waswahili wanasema kumchokonoa kwenye mitandao. <laughs> eh, has it worked for you and maybe how do you deal with such critics? I mean, it's okay. It's not the first time I'm having the fair share of, you know, cyberbullying. Been a victim before as Miss Kenya, so yeah, it's fine. I know how to deal with it. It's it's just part of life, you know. Not everyone is as kind as you are. So, yeah. No, it's fine. You know, Cairo, he's his own person. Yeah. When I met him, it's not like I was trying to control him mm -hmm. or whatever or change the way he thinks or the way he does things, no. So I just let him do him as long as it's a hundred percent respectful on my end, you know, like respect is a deal breaker for both of us. So, yeah. 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 You have been vocal uh -huh. for a while, yeah. campaigning against the incompetence of the government. Yeah. But for now, umetulia sana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are dying. Saga is happening. Yeah. yeah. Has Cairo been bribed? Why is Cairo so quiet? No, I mean, um, this might this might come off arrogant. But I don't think I have many problems. And I'd never go to bed with politicians. That's one thing about me. I'm so proud. And I have a, I have a distaste, uh, distaste for the current breed of Kenyan politicians. Mm -hmm. But you know, I sat down and then I realized, like, politicians are not powerful because they came out of nowhere. Politicians are as a result of what Kenyans have. You know, we are the same guys who went and voted for these guys. So I just realized, look, um, one moment you'll be at the forefront, risking your life, risking everything. I mean, I have a business, creating very powerful enemies, but the next day, the same Kenyans who are going to attack you, and I was like, you know what? Look, this is not my this is not my battle, mm -hmm. but but what I'm what I'm just hoping as a Kenyan now as a private citizen, I don't hold any any role in government or anything, is that in the next election people are going to use their brains. You know, we're all going to think through before we do anything. Because right now, um, I mean, this country is just things are not working right, and the moment you start taking these things to heart, trust me. You really, I mean, during those days, the days I stayed up late, I couldn't sleep. Because you just look at this country and you're like, the, the, the madness, the insanity of one country can make you go insane. Mm -hmm. So I think I just came to a point and I was like, you know what, let me just chill. I mean, I have, I have Wavinia to take care of, I have businesses to run. And uh, we just wait and pray that we'll be alive for, for the next election mm -hmm. and vote right. Because that's the only thing that can save this country. And, yeah. and of course, uh, we have been seeing Morana Kibaso, you know, doing the CD yeah, yeah, education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready to support his ideas? Are you ready to maybe have a common person? Well, um, for me right now, if there's one thing I'm really trying to avoid, and I really don't want to be involved in with this politics, because I've learned one thing is that people are very selfish. You see, some of us are not driven by money, but there are so many people, and I'm not saying it's driven by money, I'm just saying there are so many people who you don't know, who, you, you don't know who's the master of these people. At times you might be doing things with people, maybe supporting an initiative. Kumbe ya the kichini maji watu wana pesa inatembea. So it's not coming from the heart, it's coming from a, point, from a point of money. But you have to appreciate what he's doing. You know, the civic education is very good. I mean, that is something we can all agree and say, look, um, people need to think through, we need to get the right people, and we need to expose the lies that are in government. So that's something I personally support. But now in terms of supporting more than that, maybe joining money, now, now that will put me in the crosshairs of politics, and it's something I really want to stay away from. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. you want to do is, 
uh, lies the same yeah. yeah kwa commercial pilot yes. yeah. tutakuwa tutaacha kukuona ukituzia magari ukosee kabisa wewe ni no hapana okay unajua hata sasa hii nikiuza magari you know me I still fly si niko shule mm-hmm. i've been going to school i've been attending lectures i've been going for flights mm-hmm. so nothing is going to change <laughs> what you might see is you might see me in, you, you might actually see me in a company mm-hmm. flying in a company Yeah so I don't know I still don't know who's going to hire me. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll just finish up everything and I'll submit my request to those people I know. You know I have friends in the industry talk to them. So you will see me flying but I will not be flying like full time. So may see me flying on Monday, Tuesday, then maybe the rest of the days. I'm just doing the kawaida thing cars, you know, uh madam over here. Yeah so just balancing church, the kawaida things. So I won't do flying like ile full time 24/7 but but I'll do a lot of flying. Yeah, how's yeah. Jetman coming along? Uh, Jetman is doing well. We've been doing quite a number of trips lately. Even this Kesho we have a helicopter trip. I mean right now we are pushing a couple of heavy transactions. We have there's a couple of heavy plans we are working on deals all around the world. So things are looking up. Everything is good. Drive by transit. Sorry? Drive by transit tag. Ah oh uh, sorry? Adi? Drive by Eh? Oh, oh, na nini na na, na transit tag. Yeah, eh, bado, Morris, we always in communication every day. Mm-hmm. Morris is one guy we talk to every day. He's been very supportive. Mm-hmm. Na bado behind the scenes to kuko marketing tuna mm-hmm. tunasaidia tu kusukuma. Yeah. It's only that maybe you may not see us but kiroho tuko pamoja. Yeah. 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 Na, yeah. Unajua ume, umeongea na mafans mwa CC. kitu mbele Ah uh, and I'm on Venice. I mean, uh, I always tell her this every every day I wake up. I tell her two things. I always tell Wavinya two things every day 24 hours. What do I tell you? Wambie. He says he loves me and uh, I'm very good. Yeah, those two. Yeah. Maybe Wavinya how do you tell him? <laughs> no, I tell him the same thing reciprocate. I love him too and he's like very handsome, yeah. Mm. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Asante. Asante. Asante.